Good afternoon and welcome to beautiful Pickett, Wisconsin on yet another beautiful late September day. Now it's officially fall as of Sunday. Feels a little bit more like fall now because the temperature is 63 degrees, but I mean we've just got crisp blue, partly cloudy skies. It's just a spectacular day to run an engine. And the engine I've got on the stand here is a brand new engine that's never seen a drop of fuel before. This is my new Super Tiger G75 engine. Now I'm going to be doing a first run today with an APC 11.8 prop, which is what the manual recommends for the break-in. I've got the stock plug that came with it. I'm assuming it's a Super Tiger plug of some sort, but I don't know that there's any kind of designation on it. And I've got some 5% nitro fuel here. So those are the parameters for the run. It's just a spectacular day and I'm excited to get it to run and I'm going to attempt very shortly just to see if I can get it to hand start just for the heck of it. If not, I got my starter here and we'll put a run on this engine. All right, let's see how it takes a prime. Seems to be primed up pretty good. Now I've got a glove on here on this hand because the high speed needle valve is just a straight little beam coming out here and it doesn't look like it can come out. It's not angled at all. So it's a lot easier for me to grip and feel this from behind without getting too close to the prop to make any minute adjustments. I believe I've got this high speed needle open about uh, two and a half turns from fully closed. Oh, don't tell me the Super Tiger plug isn't going to want to... Uh, it's not going to want to lock on there. That could be an issue. Hmm, okay. We're going to have to do something different with this starter. Alright, either that or I have to change plugs. So I'm going to use my starter that I have for an Inya engine and hopefully it's Gonna work here for us. It's running backwards.
pretty oily over here. Drank all that fuel. Well, how does it get any better than that? I mean, that's probably about as close to the perfect first run you could ever have. Now, see, that's an example of several things. A very high-quality engine and a really kick-ass carburetor. Now, the only thing I did to this carburetor before that run was set the high-speed needle and I uh, pulled this throttle stop screw out just a little bit so that it would close just a hair and without tuning it, without having it running, I just guessed. And the throttle, the low speed settings seem to be a lot better. Now obviously, I always, even on first runs, I sit there and I don't necessarily adjust for low speed, but I like to test the low speed just to see how the engine will run at low speed or idle speed. This engine ran beautifully, almost just like as good as some OS and Sato engines, if not even better. Uh, so I don't know. This thing was a little interesting. So this is the exhaust that came with the G90 Super Tiger engine that um, Mike had sent to me that we traded for. And this screw is pretty tight according to my screwdriver. I can get a bigger one on there, but it was... It was rotating a little bit, and it still seems a little loose, but it's, I mean, I can crank it more, but it's pretty damn tight. So I had a lot of oil coming out of this adapter here. So there was a lot of oil coming out of there. There's a lot of oil on the table here. So that was a very rich run, but man, this thing is just sweet engine. It's just beautiful. It hand started. I mean, how many engines will hand start that easily on the first run? Um, I can't say enough about this. This was a sweet score, it's a sweet engine, and it's only going to get better from here. So I hope you enjoyed watching this thing run for the very first time because I thoroughly enjoyed running it. Oh yeah, and I'm in coveralls today because I was working in the garden before this. <laughs>